Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to entertain your baby whilst in lockdown. So wherever you are in the world, this pandemic has hit us one way or another, whether you're on lockdown like we are in the UK at the moment, or whether you're shielding, or whether you just want to keep at home to keep safe and stop the spread of the virus. So we are finding ourselves staying at home a lot more often, which is proving to be difficult when you've got a new little baby on your hands. What do you do with them? So these tips today are to help you entertain your baby from around six months onwards. And these can be used whether you're in a lockdown or shielding, because of a pandemic, but it could also be because there's a rainy day outside or you're staying at home because your little one's a little bit under the weather and poorly, or simply because you just want a few ideas on how to entertain your baby whilst at home. So let's get started. By moving around your living environment, baby can experience different sounds, different smells and light, which allows them to look around and explore and take it all in so it's not too monotonous. We use places like the sitting room, the kitchen, baby's bedroom and even our own bed as different play stations for him. Anywhere that you can keep things interesting for both you and baby. Your living arrangement doesn't need to be big. Just a different corner of a room can mean a whole new world of sights and smells and light for them. Just make sure they stay safe so they are free to explore. Certain baby classes such as Baby Sensory UK or Baby Massage classes are still being done on Zoom. And these classes are a really good way of entertaining your baby in a different way, including using sensory props and music. And there's loads of research out there to suggest that baby massage is a wonderful way of bonding with your baby. You have to pay for some of these classes, however there are a few similar videos on YouTube. I'll pop a link of some of my favourite ones below. A great way of keeping your baby entertained for a while is by getting an old shoebox and cutting a hole out of it. Watch how baby loves seeing any kind of toy poking out of the hole and disappearing again. You can also keep things interesting by filling the box up with different toys that they love and discovering what's new in the box each time. Balloons and bubbles are a big hit in our house, especially with his big sister to help out with playing. These are cheap, easy to get hold of and are great for baby sensory play. You just need to make sure little teeth and hands don't burst the balloons. Books are great for everyone and soon you'll rely on books heavily to keep your little ones entertained. Sensory ones with different fabric are perfect for little hands. And ones with sounds and buttons are even better to keep them occupied for that little bit longer. Our local library is still open for a click and collect service to keep books different for your baby, but please check with your local council if this applies to you. Homemade baby sensory props are also a great way of keeping your baby entertained. Make a homemade pat mat or water mat by filling a freezer bag or a breast milk pouch with water or clear hair gel and putting anything you like from pom-poms, glitter or food colouring inside. Make a homemade pom-pom by taking an old carrier bag and cutting horizontally along the edge at the bottom and then cutting vertical strips all along the length of the carrier bag. Once you've completed this, take some sellotape and sellotape the top where the handle is together to form the handle of your pom-pom. Give it a good shake. Use a coat hanger and tape old ribbons, streamers and string to make a sensory mobile. You can have different themes such as space, underwater or even different holidays. For us recently, it's been a Valentine theme mobile with hearts and doves. Have a look at your recycling waste for inspiration. With all the online shopping we're doing at the moment, there's plenty of bubble wrap lying around for baby to play with. But crisp packets opened up and washed, and water bottles filled with rice or coloured water also make great sensory props. The great thing about making sensory props yourself is that older children can help make them, which helps them have creative time away from screens and helps them feel involved with looking after your new little baby. 
Playing peepo, or peekaboo if you're in the US, is a great way to engage and play with your baby, but also teaches them object permanence, which is the idea that even though she or he can't see something, it still exists. Under supervision, playing with older siblings is a great way not only to keep them both entertained, but to help them bond. My daughter loves reading to Aiden and playing teacher, so showing him how to play with certain toys. And if all else fails, just going for a socially distanced walk, rain or shine, gets baby out of the house and gives them a good dose of fresh air and vitamin D. It's also great for endorphins and can make the whole family feel better, especially if you've been stuck inside all day. I hope you found this useful. Please leave a comment below with other ideas that you've come up with to keep baby entertained. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the updates on Aidan's progress and other helpful videos.